Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this uh, Casis USB 4.0 NVMe SSD enclosure. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description of this. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this uses USB 4.0 NVMe M2 SSD enclosure, PCIe M key, B and M key. It's compatible with Thunderbolt 3, Type-C, NVMe, and 40 gigabits per second. That would be the interface speed there. And the model number is TBU401. The material is aluminum. The size is 100 by 61 by 14.5 millimeters. The weight is 129 grams. It works with Windows, Linux, and Mac. It comes with the enclosure, a screwdriver, Thunderbolt 3 cable, and a user manual. So I opened it upside down there. Okay, so we have our cable here. I measured this off camera and it was 20 inches long. We have a little screwdriver here. There's some adhesive and the enclosure. Also in the box are these instructions. It says remove the bottom plate, slide in your SSD until it is properly seated, then screw in the retaining screw. Reattach the bottom plate. Okay, so I need to pop this top off. I'll be using a screwdriver, but I don't want to mar the finish. So I have a piece of cloth here I'm going to put it under and I'll just put that on this lip here and I'll press down. Now that'll lift right off. Okay, so the drive I'm going to use in this is a Samsung 970 EVO Plus NVMe card. I'll put a link in the description for this too. So you want to make sure you use a card that's compatible with this. You want to stay away from MSATA cards. I'll place that in the slot here. I'll make sure it's seated. And then I'll press this down and you can see this little cutout here lines up with the standoff. Now it came with two of these screws in case you lose one. I'll put it on the end of the screwdriver and then I'll just put my fingernail on the end of it the head there to hold it in place. I'll press this down, I'll line it up with the standoff. There we go. And I'll tighten it down. Like so. Now the cover has this little lip here, which fits into this little groove here. And it has these ball bearing detents that keep it closed. It has a nice snap shut. So now this is ready to go. So I'm going to be connecting this to my Mac Mini M1 I just got the other day, and it has a USB 4.0 interface. So now I'm going to switch over to that computer. Okay, so I have my desktop up here. I'll plug in the drive, and this is actually the system drive out of my MacBook. I didn't upgrade to this drive, and I took it out of the MacBook and put it in this enclosure. So you see it says Mac OS here. Okay, this drive is encrypted too with File Vault, so I'll need to enter my password here. You won't need to do that unless you have a locked drive. So I've installed Blackmagic Speed Test. You can find that in the Mac App Store. I'll go into the little gear here. I'll say select target drive, and I'll choose the Mac OS drive. This is not my main drive, this is a second drive. So I'll hit open. It says this drive is read only. Okay, I played around with this. Let's see if this works now. Okay, since this was a system drive on my other computer, it was mounting this as read-only, but I found this update partition I think that will work. So let's run this test. So we're getting about 1300 megabytes per second write speed and 2800 read speed. Now the write speed will probably drop off eventually because it has a buffer in the NVMe drive, but you can see this interface in this external enclosure is crazy fast. Okay, let's test copying some files. So I'll close this. I have some Windows ISO files in my downloads folder. So I have four of them here. So this is around 20 gigabytes of files. So I'll just drag that over to this update folder here. Wow, that's fast. I'm not speeding up this video at all. I'll delete these. I'm going to reboot this computer to make sure it clears out the caches and then we'll copy it back over. Okay, I've restarted. Now I'll copy these from the external drive to my computer.
So it took a while before it gave us a status, but once it did, it downloaded those very quickly. So I'll delete these off of here now. So I'm really impressed with the performance of this Acasis enclosure. So let's go into the hardware here, the system report, and we can take a look at how this is interfacing with the computer. So if we go to Thunderbolt here, it says we have a USB 4.0 SSD plugged in. It tells us our link speed. We can also go to NVMe Express, and you can see the Apple controller, and this is the generic SSD controller, and we have the Samsung SSD plugged in there. So the computer is actually recognizing this as an NVMe drive. It's not going through like an old, slow USB interface. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. I've been using external storage for as long as I can remember, from floppy drives to CD-ROMs, flash drives, SD cards, and this is by far the fastest I've ever used. It blows away anything previous that I've ever used. If you're looking for external storage for your computer and it supports the USB 4.0 standard, I would highly recommend this. I got this Mac Mini to do video editing, and I can edit video right off this external drive, and I may do that. One reason that you might want to do that is SSD storage can eventually wear out, and I can't replace the SSD in the Mac Mini. It's soldered in there. So if you're doing a lot of write intensive work using a drive like this is you're putting the wear on an external SSD which you can eventually replace someday. That being said, these modern SSDs seem to have great endurance on them. On the Mac side, this can also be used as a time machine backup and it can back up huge files very quickly. That's another use for this. So if there's anything you want me to test with this specifically, let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.